Alright, what's up guys? So, today we're working on the Catalina because we have a bunch of little small things that we have to do that I've been meaning to get fixed on this car that I haven't done yet. Um, and one of them is putting a temporary light switch in because pff, I think like four days ago my light switch just burnt out. So it doesn't do anything anymore. So I had to unplug it, it just jump a wire whenever I had to drive around at night. But I grabbed some stuff so we can just wire up a temporary one, right? We got the chrome switch to match with uh, some of the other stuff. We're gonna try and fit it in here, see if it'll work. If not, we'll, we'll figure something out, probably just let it hang. Uh, and then we got some connectors and stuff like that. But yeah, so I'm gonna try to rebuild this one. And if we can't, then I'm gonna try and buy, uh, get another one. But that's one thing we need to do. We need to take this door panel off so that we can fix the window. Because if you look, with it closed, because when I first bought the car, I had to adjust this one because it was sitting so low. So now we have to do the same with this because it doesn't seal right in here and there's a gap up here. So we're gonna do that. Uh, and then we have to vacuum out the inside. We're gonna clean it up. We have to go take this for a car wash. And then we have to fix the uh, exhaust on the other side. It's still leaking and I think it's getting worse. And I think the issue is the bolts that we put in there are too long. So we need to take them out, go to Lodco, get some smaller ones, and then put it all back in and then should tighten it up. And then we're also having a vibrating underneath the car on this side uh, at like idle and stuff. And it's really annoying. So we're gonna lift that up and take a look at it. And later today, we'll go take it to a car wash out in Burnaby that uh, my friend Tyler showed me. It's super cool. But I think what I'm gonna start with today is I'm gonna start with the door panel and the window. So, we're gonna have to close this one. And it should be fairly easy. We gotta take these off. I already know how to take these off. I'm sure it's the same technique probably just a clip that we need to take out like a c-clip behind here unscrew this unscrew these bottom screws here and the door panel should come off and then we should be able to play with the glass inside so i'm gonna get started with that all right so the door panel is off it wasn't too bad the hardest part was actually this one one of the clips the c-clips that hold it in was like broken in two places so or in one place and it was two pieces and it couldn't come out yeah, it was a pain, so I need to get a new one of those clips. Belogo should have it. But now, what we have to do is, oh, this has to go on, oh, is now we have to figure out where we can pivot the glass in order for it. And I can see, so you see these ones here if we loosen them, and there should be another one on this side. Yep, right there we should be able to pivot the glass. So I'm gonna go in there with a wrench, try and loosen it and pivot it so that it'll fit up in the seal better. And I've been only working on this for maybe like 20 minutes and it's so hot. I like had to grab a bottle of water and it's terrible, but we gotta get it done. All right, so I loosen there's three screws, there's one there, or nuts I guess, there's one there, one there, and one there. I adjusted them, pulled them up tight, angled this side down a little bit, pulled this side up, and now, door closes perfectly, fits right in there, bang, goes up against the top seal. So now I don't have to shoulder the door every time I have to open it. So now I'm just gonna put the, whatever's left of this, uh, I guess it's like cardboard, or no, it's like construction paper. Uh, back on, put the cover on, put everything on except for the one handle for the main window because I have to go get that other clip. And yeah, so I'll quickly just do that. All right, door panel is on. I decided I'm gonna leave this one off too so that I can use this as a reference for the other one that I need for here. But now I'm gonna move on from the door to the wiring of the switch. So first I'm gonna pull this out and then I'm gonna grab some wire from inside. As you can see, I have a huge pile of it. Right there on the floor, that's all from the drift stang. 
crazy, right? Yeah, and then we can just start wiring it up, but it is so hot. I picked such a bad day to do this, but it needs to get done. All right, so I basically made two of these. I tried the switch to see if it worked, like if it just had like overheated and, but nope, not working. So we're gonna take this apart at some point and see if we can figure out why this isn't working anymore. But for now, since we have to drive at night, I made two of these, right? One with a male side and a female. This side goes into the back of my switch. This side goes into the like the factory plug. So it should be very simple to plug in and they're not that long, seeing as how the plug was actually supposed to go into the switch, so yeah. And I made them nice and thick just in case, you know, so they can handle the flow of power. So now we're just gonna plug it in and see if it works. And uh, where did I put my switch? And this is the switch that I'm using. It's just a, you know, on, off, right, simple. So we're gonna put this in. And I got the chrome one just so it matches all the other chrome. So we're gonna see if it works now. All right, and just to be safe, I wrapped up the ends in electrical tape just so that, like, they shouldn't touch, but, you know, better safe than sorry. So now let's throw it in. All right, first off, look how like nice this temporary switch looks. I used the little chrome piece that goes here and it fit right through and the little threading part that the switch comes with matches, excuse me, matches with it. And like honestly, if you're just looking at the car, you can't even tell that it's, it's uh, I mean you can tell because obviously it's not pull up, but it matches the car and looks good. So off, on, I don't know if you can see, the interior light comes on. Headlights are on. And tail lights are on. So we have a temporary switch wired up, looking not half bad. So I don't have to hardwire it in every time. So I'm going to clean up my mess here, uh, put it all the way in the garage, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Lordco, I'm going to get that, those bolts, and then I am also going to get some magnets, because I don't have a system hooked up, because this is just an AM radio and I don't have an antenna. So what I've been using, is I've been just using these Bluetooth speakers, as you can tell, but it is loudest when it is right here. The only issue is, when I turn, it wants to hop right out the window. So, there's the cover here, and this whole dash is metal. So, what I want to do, is I want to glue some magnets to the back of this, so that, bang, it just magnets itself on, and doesn't slide around. So, while we go to Lord Co. to get the bolts, we are also going to get magnets and glue for this thing. And yeah, then we will have a sound system that sounds pretty good in place, fills up the whole car, yada yada yada, and we are one step closer to getting done what we need to get done today. So yeah, I'm going to clean up, I'm going to go to Lordco, and I guess Michael's, because I think they'd have that, get all that stuff, and then we'll come back we'll, and we'll do the exhaust. Alright, so I'm back, I already... Like, as soon as I got the clip, they had it, which was awesome. I just popped it on. Not as easy as it sounds when they're brand new. They actually don't flex that much. But popped them on, smacked them on the door. Now they're on. So door is done. Wiring done. Got the bolts right here in the ashtray. Oh, for the exhaust. So we're going to do that right now. Oh, actually, no, we're not. We are. I also went and got some JB Weld and some magnets. I try to look for like the heaviest duty magnets and I know they're good because when I put them on the counter for the, uh, to actually pay for it, the woman couldn't get it off the, uh, the metal table. So I was like, these will work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take four of these out, take some JB weld, put it right there and then let it dry, and then while it's drying, we can do the exhaust. So as you can see, the magnets are on there, the uh, JB weld is on there, I'm going to let it dry. So let's put this here. Bam. 
And I decided instead of doing the exhaust because I have to go meet up with Jacob in, in a little bit here, I'm going to clean out the inside. So we're going to take out my camera stand and all that, vacuum it up, wipe down everything. So this is how dirty she is right now. I don't know if you can tell on the windshield. She's actually uh, pretty, pretty nasty. Floor definitely needs to be vacuumed and stuff, especially the back, because that's the uh, foam that's supposed to be inside the back, of the, uh, the bottom of the seat. It's no longer there, so it's just. So I'm gonna get to cleaning this up. Right, so the car is all clean. Uh, I don't know if you're able to tell that it looks cleaner than it did before. Uh, obviously the stains and stuff aren't gonna come out, but I cleaned the whole inside windows, chrome, leather, siding, everything. Uh, it is a lot darker. I did have to go meet up with Jacob. That's why I didn't film the rest. I just wanted to get it done before we lose a lot of sunlight. Um, and I just used a uh, glass cleaner for everything. I just use glass cleaner when it comes to wiping down the inside. It, uses, it works great. So now that the interior is all clean, now we can move on to replacing those exhaust bolts. So I'm just gonna jack it up get under there with a flashlight and some tools and replace those two bolts. And hopefully, fingers crossed, that that fixes the exhaust leak. All right, so I got the bolts in. Um, as you see, I'm, Jesus, how dirty as hell. My arms are just gross. The bolts were definitely way too long. So these were the bolts I had in it, and as you can see, the shank part of it is longer than the amount of threads. So what I think was happening is I tighten it all the way down to the last thread. Yeah, you can even see if the camera will focus. There you go, how it's shiny there because I think the nut was all the way there and there just wasn't enough room to tighten it all the way. But I have ones that are in there that are shorter that have not bottomed out. So now I'm gonna wash my hands really quick before I go and start the car because we just cleaned it and I don't want to get it dirty all over again. But dang, look at that thing. So I'm gonna wash up and then we'll start it to see if it sounds better. All right, moment of truth. Oh, way better. We have the small exhaust leak from this side that I know of, but... Oh, it sounds so much better. Oh my god. That sounds way better without that exhaust leak just rattling away. I should have done that a long time ago, but okay, that's done. Oh, let's see how the uh, magnets are holding up. I mean, they're not moving. Ooh, ah, that might be done. Might have to test that out later. But uh, we obviously don't have time, because it's late, to go take it to the car wash and wash it. So I'm gonna do that in the morning. So what we're gonna do, what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna continue this video on to tomorrow, just to clean the car 
and I'm gonna try and put a GoPro on and watch it because this car wash place is really cool. They have like a brush that dispenses soap out of it as you, it's crazy, it's high tech, it's insane. <laughs> but yeah, I will see you guys in the morning. All right guys, so it is time to go clean the Catalina. Real quick, the exhaust sounds so much better. Like it's, it doesn't change the actual sound coming out the end, but it's so much quieter inside the cab now that it's not leaking from that corner. The other thing is the magnets on the Bluetooth speaker work so well, I can now drive aggressively and it won't slide out the window. And yeah, so uh, we're gonna head over there and then I will put a GoPro on and we can wash the car. All right, so we're here, so let's get to washing the car.
so this is the end result. Man, I love when this car is clean. Just looks so good. So shiny. This is, this is a type of paint job that's good from like 15 feet away, but man, it still looks good. I love it. Looks so good now. So she's ready for the week. All cleaned up, interior's clean, outside's clean, light switch is done. What else did we do? The exhaust, so. That's gonna be it for this video, guys. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, hit the like button, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Peace out.